Hello everyone. My name is Calvin Fernando. My Unity ID is CFERNAN3. This demonstration is about implementation of Ansible to auto provision and configure a headless Ubuntu 16.04 server. We will be installing VirtualBox, PHP VirtualBox, and Vagrant remotely on this Ubuntu server. This is the guide that we'll be following. It's basically a list of uh, Linux commands that needs to be executed on uh, uh, on the Ubuntu 16.04 Xenial uh, so, uh, server in order to install VirtualBox and PHP VirtualBox. So the, in short, the goal of the uh, demonstration is just trans translate these uh, Linux commands into Ansible scripts in uh, in the uh, Ansible playbook. Now, let me de describe the environment that I'll be using. Okay, so I'm using a desktop version of Ubuntu 16.04 uh, Xenial. So this will act as a configuration manager in my de demonstration. That means all the Ansible scripts and Ansible playbook will be hosted in this machine. Okay. I have another Ubuntu 16.04, but this is a server machine which is uh, for this demonstration will be termed as the uh, target node. So we will be installing VirtualBox, PHP VirtualBox and Vagrant on this Ubuntu server target node. Uh, I have even enabled port forwarding. So my SSH 20 to port number of my target node is translated to port 8000 and uh, that of 80 has been translated to 8001. Okay, so now let's begin the demonstration for that first let's view the inventory file it's basically a one line file which is starts with the local loopback address then the ssh port 8000 which is basically trans uh, translation uh, from the 22 to 8000 using port forwarding then ssh user the python interpreter which is uh, where it is located on my target node uh, I view, uh, so the target node has Python 3 installed and Python distribution release. Now let's go to the configuration.yml file. So this is basically uh, the Ansible playbook file and it consists of all the, uh, the translated versions of all the Linux commands uh, required in order to auto install VirtualBox, PHP VirtualBox uh, onto the target node. So it consists of multiple packages which is required in order to install uh, uh, VirtualBox and PHP VirtualBox then uh, the various Linux commands like update then apt uh, install etc. So let's run this playbook this it can be done by simply typing Ansible playbook followed by the name of the playbook and the inventory and let me hit on enter okay so the execution of the playbook has started uh, so it consists the playbook consists of a number of tasks and has each and every task gets executed successfully uh, you'll get it okay and or changed so it takes roughly around 30 to 40 minutes for the whole of the task to get executed so let me go ahead and pause this video and continue once the ansible playbook has been successfully executed ansible script has been executed successfully and now let us verify whether PHP VirtualBox has been installed on the remote server. So for that, the URL is uh, since we are using the loopback address and followed by the translated uh, HTTP port. Okay. okay, it op opens up. Let's enter the credentials. Okay, the PHP VirtualBox page has been loaded successfully and now let's create a VM on uh, using PHP VirtualBox. So I will name this VM as demo v VM1, let it be a Linux and version 32 bit. And hit next, I'll use the default 768 MB RAM, Virtual create a virtual hard disk now, yes. And I will use VirtualBox disk image dynamically allocate the memory and 
and a vm dot vdi file has been generated now let's turn on this vm okay so now you can uh, hit on this uh, choose a virtual optic uh, file out there and you can select any uh, ISO image of any desired operating system that you need to run on it but for now I'll just hit on start just to demonstrate that this particular VM changes its state into that of running so it's changing state from powered off to starting and lastly the VM has uh, reached the running state so now the, for the second uh, uh, for the second verification uh, whether Vagrant has been installed successfully on the uh, target node uh, we have to execute another playbook it's called provisioning the uh, VM YAML and the basically the content of this playbook is nothing but it is it runs a command vagrant in it it modifies the content of a vagrant file and then it executes vagrant app so let's go ahead and run this playbook provision vm yaml that's correct and hit enter now this uh, playbook takes roughly around 20 odd minutes to execute successfully so meanwhile I'll go ahead and pause this video so the provisioning uh, uh, XML play uh, the YAML playbook was successfully executed and now let's verify whether uh, the vagrant uh, the VM was created using vagrant or not for that we can run this command wait for the output okay so as you can see that uh, vagrant global hyphen status implies that there was there is one VM which is currently in the power of power of mode so yes we were successfully able to create a VM using vagrant on on the target node similarly it can from the PHP virtual box you can verify that uh, a, v, uh, a VM created by vagrant has been successfully uh, you know provision you thank you everyone for watching